Hello, everyone. Any doubt with respect to our last class? Is there anyone who hasn't seen the last class by chance? Dekhin Avi? Savana? Great. Nice. Sir, uh, hello? Hello, hello. Sir, how are we going to join the uh, the WhatsApp group? How, uh, we'll make it by today and tomorrow. The reason was because there are still students who were joining. So okay. I was waiting for the list to actually get finalized. And then I'll make the group and you all will be there in the group. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you, sir. Yes. And so sorry for today for being late. Kalchin Yoga, something that I, I wasn't able to avoid. That is why that happened. With respect to yesterday's lecture, anyone having any doubt? Any doubt? What exactly is the political school of thought with respect to what is right? So, first of all, context was told. The idea was that, well, public administration, if you think about it, is clearly a subset of political science. So when we essentially made this move, that well, we are going to treat it as a separate field of academics, one of the things that political school of thought kept on maintaining is the fact that you cannot understand Prabhat without really understanding what is state. Because at the end of the day, your Prabhat is the executive arm of both legislature and, and the judiciary. Unka kaam kya hai? Jo bhi laws hai, wo implement karna. And judicial orders will implement. Karna. The point is, if that is what your job is, you need to know what is legislature. You need to know what is a judiciary. In this respect, what exactly you need to understand? The purpose behind legislature. The purpose behind judiciary. What do you need to understand? Provisioning of goods and services that has been done in the law. How exactly it will be done in practice. In this respect, if you're trying to understand state, you're trying to understand the concept of state, that entity, which looks out for people's interests, which looks out for societal interest. Political school of thought gives you the advantage to even look at non-state actors in understanding of what Pavad should be. Because when we look at it, for example, something like an NGO, a Pratham Institute for Education, like Organ India with respect to how exactly we are able to get organs, Krai Institute with respect to children, unki education, care they are working, right? In this regard, these are, are they part of legislature? No. Are they part of judiciary? No. But they are important with which we are able to meet the goals of state. So political science is that field which allows you to also understand non-state actors and how exactly public administration should interface with them, right? It also allows you to understand anti-state actors. For example, we all collectively have decided that the state that we are having, our parliament, our constitution is the system that we submit ourselves to with respect to how exactly governance should happen in India. But there can be people who do not agree with it. For example, Naxals, they do not believe in this idea of state with respect to how exactly a person who might be an Axelite believes that there development. Hoga. So, is it clear? In this regard, political science essentially gives you understanding of political theories, different aspects linked with the concept of state and that allows you to understand Prabhat in a wider scope, in a wider manner. But what is the problem with it? Then what is the difference between Prabhat and political science as simple as that? You essentially are giving a definition or meaning to public administration, which is incomplete without you trying to keep it as a subset of political science. That is why one can argue, well, it is not a proper meaning for some experts at least. Is it clear? Again, something that we need to keep in mind is, isko samajna, that we are not here to decide which meaning is better or which meaning is not good. Our job is to, being a student of public administration, understand all meanings. Kisko for example, some of you, for some of you, Virat Kohli is a better batsman than Rohit Sharma. Rohit Sharma, for some of you, Rohit Sharma is a better batsman. But if you're a student of cricket, it is about why exactly people who like Virat Kohli likes him. Why exactly people who like Rohit Sharma likes him. Is it clear? Okay, na? Fine. One thing I'm going to tell you later, I'm going to tell you See, now that you're the student of public administration, one of the keys to an expectation of the examiner is, that you will always defend the field of public administration. For you to have a conclusion should always be that you are siding that yes, field of public administration is a great field. It, yes, it's a art. Yes, it's a uh, field of science. Vagera, vagera. Is it clear? So that is the kind of assumption with which we need to write an answer, understand everything in Prabhat. That we are hell-bent with respect to protecting and vanguarding Prabhat. All science, management, management doesn't matter. Make sense? 
ठीक है तो हमने क्या क्या पढ़ लिया था नहीं नहीं पॉलिटिकल साइंस में क्या क्या पढ़ लिया था पॉलिटिकल स्कूल ऑफ थॉट में हमने पढ़ लिया था स्टेट इज दिजिटिमेट एंटिटी टू एक्सरसाइज कोर्स ऑफ पावर पढ़ा था राइट इन दिस रिगार्ड हमने क्या बोला था दे मस्ट बी यूज टू प्रोवाइड पब्लिक गुड्स पब्लिक सर्विसेज एंड दे शुड बी प्रोवाइडिंग सिक्योरिटी टू सिक्योरिटी एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी स्टेट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली मेकिंग डिसीजन राइट ये पढ़ लिया था हमने राइट अच्छा राइट ऑन नोट विद इन पोलिटिकल स्कूल ऑफ थॉट राइट ऑन नोट पॉलिटिकल स्कूल प्रोवाइड्स अ लार्जर कैनवास टू अंडरस्टैंड पी ए पॉलिटिकल साइंस प्रोवाइड्स अ लार्जर कैनवास टू अंडरस्टैंड पी ए फ्रॉम कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स लार्जर कैनवास कैनवास मतलब जिसमें पेंटिंग करते हो आप लार्जर कैनवास अ ब्रॉडर कैनवास टू अंडरस्टैंड पी ए From context of different forms of state, from context of different forms of state, bracket, monarchical system, dictatorship. पार्लियामेंट्री डेमोक्रेसी प्रेसिडेंशियल डेमोक्रेसी एक्सेट्रा ये वाला पॉइंट हमने कल पढ़ा था ना बट एग्जैक्टली वी एच सेट वन ऑफ दी प्रॉब्लम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर मीनिंग्स दैट वी हैव सीन सो फार इज द फैक्ट दैट इट इज डिफाइनिंग पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फाइंडिंग अ मीनिंग ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओनली इन डेमोक्रेटिक स्टेट when you talk about political science it wants you to first understand what a state and once you've understood what a state what exactly it expects you to do then it expects you to understand role of power in it so in this respect you can have a meaning for public administration for the monarchical state monarchical state pata na raja ka beta raja then you essentially can have a different for the dictatorship hitler ban gaya right you essentially can have a different with respect to what a parliamentary democracy presidential democracy and that gives us a larger canvas to have a proper understanding of what can be provided second point this school also provides scope to understand this school also provides scope to understand pa this school also provides scope to understand public administration from standpoint of non state institutions from standpoint of non state institutions and anti state institutions and anti state institutions niche likh lo example non state institutions ke example pratham ngos civil society groups ngo civil society groups adr jaise ho gaya pratham ho gaya right देखो एट एनी पॉइंट आई माइट बी यूजिंग अ वर्ड दैट यू मे नॉट नो द मीनिंग ऑफ पूछ लेना राइट वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन यू सेंचुअली स्टार्ट टीचिंग समथिंग स्टार्ट स्टार्टिंग समथिंग इट माइट बी दैट आई मे बी टेकिंग सर्टन वर्ड्स विद लिबर्टी रिज्यूमिंग दैट यू मे बी नोइंग द मीनिंग लेकिन नहीं पता तो पूछो बिकॉज दैट्स दी ओनली वन विच आई एल गेट टू ना नीड टू एक्सप्लेन इट एंड आई लव एक्सप्लेनिंग टेंशन नहीं लेना ठीक है जस्ट आस्क चलो और एंटी स्टेट इंस्टीट्यूशंस extremism isis left wing extremism
right now scholars who argued who believed in this view robert dahal and david easton yes as i said all these views in one way or the other is going to overlap with each other so you will even have some thinkers who are subscribing to multiple school of thoughts right right non state are civil society groups ngos unke examples one is adr association of democratic reforms suna iska naam ha no to bata deta hu so basically adr is one of the most reputed ngo in india and what don't things that they are composed of people who are retired judges of high court supreme court then you essentially are people who are retired bureaucrats then you are people who are you no know, experience of working in public sphere and they are experts so all these bunch of people who join adr what they do they keep on filing rti when they keep on filing rti they get the information they get used that information to create proper structured information for the people for example if you if you are reading newspaper for last few months you'll actually see that whenever you are lab new lok sabha new government for any government there will be a data that will come how many of them are people who essentially have severe crime against them how many of them are karodpati how many of them essentially have been in different parties etc etc so more often than not this data is being generated by this organization What else they do? They keep on filing PIL with respect to reforms. For example, electoral bond. What did the Supreme Court say? Who exactly was the main petitioner? Did he? So, who? 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 You essentially can take as many examples as you want. Okay, these are examples of NGO civil. So what is civil society group for the people who don't know? Anything which is not part of state but is organized will become civil society group. For example, when you essentially talk about bureaucracy, it is part of state. When you talk about judges, part of state, legislature, part of state. If you are working for legislature or judiciary, you are part of state. All the people who are directly and indirectly. Working for these that is actors, state actors are state actors. But such me, but all the people who are not part of state, but they are organized, they will essentially become a civil society group. So it can be a fan group. It can be that you essentially are sort of fighting, for example, them these ADI guys with respect to reforms in administration. It can be that you are working for education of the children, or you can be a farmers group. The idea is what idea is civil society groups are groups which are organized but they are not part of this. Make sense? Hey, what? Any doubt? This comes. This brings us to the next. That is public uh, public policy view. public policy view of public administration public policy view it is also called legalistic view it is also called legalistic view okay so All right. Well, if there are technical issues, no medium. <laughs> we'll create the medium. The WhatsApp group will be the medium. Don't worry. Okay, sir. As you said, there is no unanimous definition. But if someone asks us what is provided, how to reply, they will not ask you like that. See, if at all someone asks you in general, not in UPSC, tell them provided is the study of executive. If at all the question is in UPSC, it will be a lot more tougher, lot more nuance based on the question. We are. Taking down everything. If the question could be, there exists a legalistic view with respect to this. Can you elaborate on it? The question can be differentiate between public policy view and narrow view of public administration. So there can be different ways in which this content can be used to answer the demand of the question. Right? Take a man. And whenever you have a doubt, take a pink color. Because sometimes it doesn't come. 
फाइन पब्लिक पॉलिसी भी हो और लीगलिस्टिक भी हो तो देखो बहुत सिंपल है ये व्यू वट दिस कई से इज दैट वेल यू हैव लेजिस्लेचर यू हैव एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड यू हैव जुडिशरी दे से दैट अल्टीमेटली वेल लेजिस्लेचर आर पासिंग लॉस एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस लॉस पब्लिक पॉलिसीज आर गेटिंग मेड दिस पब्लिक पॉलिसीज विल आल्सो हैव टू टेक इनटू अकाउंट व्हाट एवर जुडिशरी सेस इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग दैट यू विल हैव एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑर्डर्स you will have judicial orders and you will have laws that essentially will shape a public policy just can judge matter make sense in this regard what exactly the scholars who believe in this view argue study of public administration requires study of public policy what exactly is the policy about how exactly the law was made what exactly was discussed what exactly has been included as a part of it what has been excluded kya hai kya nahi hai then you also will need to keep into account with respect to what judiciary has said and once you are able to understand all these dynamics then you will have what you are supposed to implement that means if at all you are a person who has to implement something it starts with what your understanding of what is public policy for instance take at reservation so you essentially have constitution saying that well we can give reservation 15 16 pata hai hame in this regard what happened there was an executive policy that was passed with respect to giving reservation for the people who are obc then 10% reservation was also given to ews padha na padha tha polity mein at that time what happened supreme court looked into it indra sani judgment happened 1993 supreme court ne kya bola it cannot be more than 50% 50% ceiling was done plus other conditions in this regard if you think about it what exactly has happened a public policy was shaped by executive orders there were certain laws that they cannot breach and there were some judicial orders now will need to be a part of the way in which you are going to execute things that means if you think about it if you want to be an executive you want to study public administration it starts with you trying to study what exactly are public policies sahi baat makes sense simple right now according to this perspective according to this perspective pa is a discipline public administration is a discipline which deals with the study of which deals with the study of dash dash maine bata tha deals with the study of formulation of public policy first dash formulation of public policy bracket law fulfillment of public policy fulfillment of public policy woodrow wilson he is regarded as father of public administration Woodrow Wilson notes notes public administration PA is system is systematic and detailed public administration is systematic and detailed implementation of public law implementation of public law ld white observes next sentence ld white observes pa that is public administration means study of pa means study of all the operations all the operations having the purpose of all the operations having the purpose of <clears throat> enforcement of laws 
enforcement of laws and states policies and state policies and and fulfillment of these public policies and fulfillment of these public policies सही बात विदाउट सिंपल है स्कॉलर्स कौन कौन से हो गए उड्रो विल्सन एल्डी वाइट सही कोई डाउट राइट ऑन नेक्स्ट पर्सपेक्टिव वेलफेयर पर्सपेक्टिव पब्लिक व्हील भी बोलते हैं इसे पब्लिक व्हील व्यू सो दिस पर्सपेक्टिव इज नॉट दी वेरी पॉपुलर पर्सपेक्टिव बट इट वॉज समथिंग दैट बिकेम अ कोर ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट विल अंडरस्टैंड दी एवोल्यूशन ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन बेसिकली पर्सपेक्टिव क्या था क्या दिस पर्सपेक्टिव सेज दैट विल एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे वट एक्जैक्टली आई वी ट्राइंग टू अचीव विद स्टेट विद पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विद जुडिशरी इट इज वेलफेयर then kalyan we essentially are trying to ensure that we are able to have welfare for the people women are being uplifted children are being uplifted dalits are being uplifted the people who have marginalized under poverty are being uplifted in this regard well that is the intent of state and that should be the approach and intent of public administration in other words study of public administration is about how exactly we are able to maximize welfare how exactly we are able to maximize development how exactly we are able to maximize upliftment of the people eradication of the people it should study about if we are doing this what exactly will be the that is intent or goal of uh, maximization of development as compared to something else is there a way by which we can use this resources to maximize development are there different ways to maximize development that is what pavard should be studying the most clinical way to get maximum development sahi baat sunne mein acha lagta hai But then, if you think about it, this is also limited by so many factors. For example, what is development in tax administration? But this is something that only state can do, only Pavard can do. How exactly we are able to see development in auditing and accounting? But you require CAG to do it. How exactly we will be able to have development with respect to defence, national security? In other words, there are so many facets of public administration which this perspective is not able to clear, is not able to cover. For example, even something like intelligence creation, how exactly are we going to link it with development? In this regard, why this makes sense with respect to the fact that we are indeed here to bring about development with respect to welfare maximization, but at the same time, Prabhat is also dealing with so many things which cannot be linked with development. Makes sense? Just any such matter. एक सिंपल एग्जांपल हो आरटीआई है राइट सबको पता है व्हाट इज आरटीआई यू फाइल एन आरटीआई यू गेट इंफॉर्मेशन इससे हाउ एग्जैक्टली इफ यू आर अ पब्लिक सर्वेंट योर जॉब इज गेटिंग इजी यू टफ ही होता है ना इफ यू आर अ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर इफ यू आर एन आईएएस ऑफिसर आईपीएस ऑफिसर यू हैव टू वरी अबाउट आरटीआई गिविंग इंफॉर्मेशन इन अ टाइमली मैनर देन एवरीथिंग इन दिस रिगार्ड इज इट मेकिंग यू मोर एफिशिएंट ऑफ कोर्स नॉट But the point is what because it is public service because it is something where public has an interest to know how exactly things are happening. It is something that you need to do. That means, but that should be also about RTI. Now RTI as such is not linked with development or welfare. It is linked with what accountability, transparency, etc., etc. But this is one facet of public administration that goes completely missing in this definition. Say so, what? Fine. Okay. ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट प्लीज क्रोच ऑन या कैमरा से ज्ञानेश्वर अपेक्षा मान संबित राली अंशिका राइट जामयंग तरुण हर्ष आयशा प्रियंका नाउ इफ यू मीट मी ज्ञानेश्वर आई विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई यू यू हैव सीन यू अदरवाइज तुम मार्क कैसे बता चलेगा राइट नहीं डॉन
according to this view according to this view public administration is the study according to this view pa is the study of all those activities pa is the study of all those activities which leads to welfare of the people which leads to welfare of the people welfare of the people in inverted commas it includes welfare oriented activities it includes welfare oriented activities like development like development and implementation of like development and implementation of dash 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 human development policies of dash human development policies bracket healthcare education bracket healthcare education etc next dash poverty eradication schemes poverty eradication schemes poverty eradication schemes next dash social justice schemes social justice schemes bracket dalit women children upliftment of dalit women children social justice kya hota hai sabko pata hai na samajik nyay kya hota hai se pata hai kya hota hai anyone hota hai sir in society there are people who are unequal all the things we do by which we are able to make them a part of mainstream will be called as social justice measures for example let's say we are having what uh, national food security mission why because we are able to see there are people who essentially are very poor and they are not able to afford to eat social justice measure is what we are giving them highly subsidized food grain so what about health care scheme sorry Healthcare scheme. I'm not even saying. Healthcare scheme. Healthcare schemes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you have, कुछ रह गया आपका? You have, uh, I mean, there's something you want me to repeat again? No, I'm talking about the example of social upliftment. हाँ, so it can be. For example, if we were giving COVID vaccines for free, right? So when we were giving COVID vaccine for free for the people who cannot afford it, what exactly are we doing? We essentially are trying to bring about what can be called as social justice. Just going to say that is social justice. Write on note. Yes. Basically, political school is saying that you need to understand state to understand poverty. So understanding of state will include so many things. It can include understanding of communism. It has nothing to do with welfare. It can include understanding of uh, parliamentary democracy, presidential democracy. It has nothing to do with welfare. So it essentially can have welfare as one of the components, but then it has have, when welfare will be only a very small part of it. It essentially is including so many things more than that. They are also approaching the problem in the same manner. That is sure. The what you are trying to say, I can understand. The essential trying to say that we created state so that we are able to take decision for the society for the societal well-being, but at the same time, understanding of state is not only understanding welfare of the society. It essentially can include so so many things. Is it clear? Right. What's your name? Ranakshi. Fine. Write down. Excuse me, sir. Ah, my. Sir, does this involve only the implementation part of the welfare program or the? Uh, for policy formulation in itself so basically what these guys believe is 
that whenever we essentially are, for example, once you become an IAS officer, you will be a district magistrate. But basically, you should be called as a development officer. For the reason that is going to be your prime job. In this regard, what exactly welfare perspective is, what exactly is the way in which we can train you in public administration by which your capacity to maximize development occurs. So in this respect, it could be how exactly you're engaging with civil society. It could be how exactly you're engaging with the state actors, union actors, anything and everything by which we are able to increase your skill set, your capacity to maximize development, right? So, so even, so even if you're understanding to... policy, so we will need to associate ourselves with the law making part as well, right? What they essentially saying do everything by which you are able to understand welfare better. It okay. can be that you have to understand law. It can be, for example, a law can be a defense policy. Now that is not what they are saying. Mm -hmm. The law can be that we essentially having punch seal with uh, China. The idea is that is not what they are saying. Look at MG Nadeka ko samjo because that is important. Understand mm -hmm. what exactly is the way in which you can increase the number of beneficiaries. What can we do by which you're able to use this workforce better? So they are limiting it to development and welfare activities only. Is it clear? Yes. Right now. Note kuch bula Note. This perspective is considered as a very limiting view. This perspective is considered as a very limiting view of understanding PA. This perspective is considered as a very limiting view of understanding PA as it is excluding as it is excluding non-welfare non-welfare activities and functions of the government activities and functions of the government example defense and national security comma audit and tax administration comma regulation of private sector regulation of private sector sebi jante security exchange board of india now if you think about it they're regulating how exactly we essentially are having stock markets, insider trading, so get it. It is not directly linked with anything about development. Right? Like to bracket me, SEBI, example SEBI, IRDA, etc. So, IRDA to be a jagger, TRAI, 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 SEBI, TRAI, TRAI, Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Putting is given in paper too. So, these are examples, which is it's always good to park examples at the right place. Right? To example some park career by the time you pervert will get over and then again you're going to study it everything will make sense because these are ways by which you're connecting it with paper too oh, bhai. sorry of uh, insurance is something that can also be looked upon as a developmental function you can argue that well insurance is not something that must be looked upon only from standpoint of this that is uh, the non-development activity it is a very important aspect of welfare one can argue so, yes, I would say that IRDF may not be directly linked with it. Okay. Write down then, next view, process view or process school of thought. Process view or process school of thought. Hambai. No one in particular, Logi Sablog is essentially able to see the uh, limited aspect of it. Likna chao, it was Liklos me note karke, ek point of note daldo. This view was prominent 
during the discussions which led to during the discussions which led to NPA. It doesn't mean non-performing asset. It means new public administration. Like low bracket me, new public administration. This view was prominent at the time when. The, this, view, this view was prominent during the discussion. Uh, during the discussion which led to NPA. New public administration. Now, what is this? We are keeping it in a box and we will open it when we come to NPA. Okay? We essentially will need to first understand everything that happened before NPA to get a complete understanding of it. Say what? Chalo, tak ho gaya. Process and process school of thought. See, the thing is. When you talk about administration, does it involve lawmaking? No. Does it involve that you need to decide who is right, who is guilty, who is not? No. That means at the end of the day, public administration is about implementation of what is written, what must be done. Be it judicial order, be it legislative order. In this regard, well, it's not so much about understanding these things, then it is about making sure what? The implementation is the way in which direction was given. And implementation is more of management. You essentially will need to have managerial skills in order to implement anything in a good manner. It can be that you are preparing for UPSC, for example. You need to be a good manager of your preparation. You might be coach of Indian cricket team that again require you to manage it. Or you essentially can be an IS officer. You need to manage public affairs. As such, when we are trying to understand what is public administration, our intent is, our goal is to make to understand things by which it can be more effective, something that we all agree on. As such, well, it is not so much about what? It is not so much about the public part of public administration. It is only about administration part of it, which essentially can be the same with respect to private and public. So for private administration skills required for you to be a good administrator, if you're giving the same skills in a, uh, that is, what you say, with the right variations to the person who's in public administration, one can argue, you will be a very effective public administrator. This is what these guys believe in. Are you able to understand? Is it clear? But then when you think about it, this also is a very limiting understanding of about why, for the reason, public administration is not a profit maximization agency. Public administration is welfare maximization agency. Public administration is not sort of targeting their clients like a private administration would be. They are serving their citizens. There's a difference between serving your customers and serving citizens. In this respect, not only we essentially will need to look at a very wide, because everyone is going to be, that is the people that you're supposed to serve. It can be okay, Shambhani, it can be a person who's very poor. And on top of it, what exactly will happen? For so many things that you're going to do, they, get, they cannot be objective standards of efficiency. For example, how exactly are you going to map out something like MG Narega, not MG Narega, that uh, midday meal on the chart of productivity, profit, loss. It's very tough, right? You can see the impact of it after 20, 25 years when you see the children who essentially are getting proper nutrition and education because of part of it, it is adding to a human capital. But then you cannot chart it out the way in which you can see that your car sales are how Right? Your subscribers are how These are things that you essentially can do it in private administration. You cannot do it in public administration. And that is why to just conclude that this administration can be understood in the absence of public in it is not the right way to understand public administration. So dono paksh samaj mein with respect to this view. One view essentially say the fact that, well, just get to what is called a sports cop. That is, uh, that is planning, organizing, staffing, jo basic cheeze, management ki hai, managerial skills ki hai, wo de do. That is all what is required. Is it clear? Right down. According to this school of thought, according to this school of thought, public administration is the study of public administration is the study of tools and techniques, underlying tools, underlying techniques, and process of administration. 
and process of administration. This school believes, this school believes, first point, administration is administration. Am I going too fast? Dictation is okay, right? At any point, if at all you feel I'm going too fast, tell me. This school believes, first point, administration is administration, whether public or private, whether public or private. Second point, tools, techniques, tools, techniques, and proper processes. Tools, techniques, and proper processes forms the basis forms the basis of efficiency in administration. Example Dallo, Potscorp, POSD, CORB. You said ye kya cheez hai. Sabka full form hai. Itna hai. Peace for planning. O is organizing. S is staffing. Planning, organizing, staffing. Am I going too fast? Take it Planning. P se planning. O se organizing. S se staffing. D, directing. C, coordinating. Coordinating. R, reporting. Reporting. B. Budgeting. Budgeting. Different types of budgeting. Platon scholars who believed in it, Luther Gulick. Superman dekha hai? So main villain kaun hota hai? Lex Luthor. No? <laughs> Luthor Gallic. Lyndon Ulrich. L Y N D A. Hai na? Haan. By chance kisi ne dekha ho wo dark Netflix wala. Usme ek Ulrich tha. Hmm? I am telling you something far more complex so that this seems simple. Right? Anyways. Ek achi, a dark TV series on Netflix. Mein. I think it's a German series which has become very popular around the world. It is about time travel or rather different timelines rather. It's about different timelines which essentially are conflicting. How is it made in different timelines? Okay, it's okay. Now let's go to the next view. Okay, no, let's write it. Note. Haan, Excuse me. Sir, so can we say that the welfare perspective focuses on the ends whereas the process focuses on the means? Gee, actually, what process you are trying to say is the fact that forget about what you want to achieve. They are not talking about the goals. Yes. They are saying it is about how well we essentially able to train you in these functions, that is process functions, getting the process as clinical as possible. With these processes, they are saying you can achieve anything you want. This is what they are yes. trying to emphasize on that if you want to understand, provide, 
and the way in which you're able to create a special space for Pavad away from political science, it will need to be that you're not looking at public part of it. You're just looking at administration part of it. And this is they are saying administration to make it efficient, to make it more efficient, forget about the goals, focus more about the process part of it. So this is what is. Is it clear? Fine. I don't note. Note. Several scholars dispute this perspective. Several scholars dispute this perspective as it assumes as it assumes several scholars dispute this perspective as it assumes no difference between private and public administration. No difference between private and public administration. Goals and means of public administration. Goals and means of public administration can not be measured cannot always be measured can not always be measured on the yardstick of on the yardstick of kya bolo last cheez aapne bolo nahi nahi aap kahan se chhoota aapka on the yardstick of yardstick ke upar na measurement of yardstick right on the yardstick of profitability and efficiency and efficiency example implementation of schemes like midday meal Comma. Subsidies provided. Subsidies provided for services like LPG and diesel. Diesel to band kar di na? Diesel pe hai band kar diya? Not hundred percent. LPG to hai na? Nikto like LPG. वो भी बंद कर देंगे आप एक साल में एक्सेट्रा अब आ जाते हैं नया दैट इज सब्सटैंटिव व्यू और कंटेंट व्यू और सब्जेक्ट मैटर व्यू एक ही है सब कहां से होगा ये Gavi क्या कहता है ये बोलता है कि देखो वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी डू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वी बिलीव पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज सो यूनिफॉर्म एंड यूनानिमस दैट यू एसेंशियली कैन हैव वन मीनिंग फॉर एवरी पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन व्हिच इज नॉट ट्रू व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आर यू सेइंग कि देखो यू एसेंशियली विल नीड टू हैव रोल ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन स्किल ऑफ अ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फंक्शनिंग एज अ वेलफेयर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर वेलफेयर स्कीम्स को एडमिनिस्टर करने के लिए कुछ कुछ स्किल सेट चाहिए that is one aspect of what is public administration is about but then when you talk about the functioning that the law does functioning that cag does functioning where some of these specialized agencies does every agency will require agency specific definition of what is public administration this can be said matter anyone of friends at the point of trying to say for example let's say we essentially would want to make you a raw agent we want to we are preparing you to become a raw agent Are we going to train you with respect to developmental policies that we are having? Are we going to train you with respect to welfare policies? 
how essentially we can increase the reach to beneficiaries, how exactly will we be able to map out people whom we are getting left out? No, not required, right? In this regard, yes, we essentially require a person who is going to be in public administration because we're executing, but the skill will need to be only with respect to what is required for you to be a law agent. It can be intelligence, it can be tolerance, it can be physical training, together, together. In this respect, what this view is arguing that when you essentially will need to understand the subject matter, and for that, there will be one definition of a word. Then for a different subject matter, what was learning and understanding probat will be, that will change. Law ke liye alag hoga. If it will be talking about what is public administration if the public body is law. Or what is public administration if public body is RBI. Or what is public administration if public body is a, a development officer. Is going to change Development officer is district magistrate only. Is it clear? Is going to change What is the problem with this way of understanding things? They essentially are having no unanimous understanding of public administration. Yes, they are creating more fluids of academics within the field of public administration. One can argue there will be something like specialization that can occur after you essentially have basic knowledge of Prabhat. And that basic knowledge of Prabhat is what we are trying to find a meaning for. For example, that is you can become an MTech in let's say signals and system. Right, you essentially can become MTech in computer science, whatever, koi bhi coding mein. In this regard, for you to get to that point, pehle to B Tech karni padegi na. The question in hand is, what is B Tech? They are trying to give you what is M Tech. Kisko nahi samajh For example, you are going to get selected as IAS, IPS, IRS, all these things, and then what will happen? You will be given one common training, and then you will be given one specialized training. And then as time goes on, based on what exactly government wants to get from you, it could be, we want you to be in defense, we want you to be in finance, we want you to be in district administration, vagera, vagera. we are going to give you mid-career training courses. But it starts from where the first course that we give you at Lavasana. The idea of Pabad should be that we first start with what is Pabad. It cannot be that you essentially are getting into something which is too much ahead. Online students, fine. Harish Pratap, Anchika, Man. Yes, no. Apucha. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Again, an humble request, please switch on your cameras. Right? Sambit, Apeksha, Jamyang. Purali, Purali, Surai. Hello, Aisha. Hello, Aish. Head on. This school of thought believes, this school of thought believes, this school of thought believes that PA involves that public administration PA involves first point study of subject matter on which study of subject matter on which policy needs to be developed and implemented policy needs to be developed and implemented Number two, study of tools, techniques, and processes. Study of tools, techniques, and processes relevant to the subject matter, relevant to the subject matter and policies. Next sentence. This school of thought believes. This school of thought believes. As the subject matter changes. So 
so does so does the relevant so does the relevant objectives and definition so does the relevant objectives and definition of efficiency of efficiency efficiency in inverted commas अब एग्जाम्पल ठीक है यहां लिख दो पब्लिक पॉलिसी जगह छोड़ के मतलब बनाना एक डायग्राम टाइप है सब्जेक्ट मैटर लॉ नेशनल सिक्योरिटी वेलफेयर स्कीम्स वेलफेयर स्कीम्स यहां लिखना can not be subject to audit can not be subject to audit by cag can not be subject to audit audit kya hota hai sabko pata hai na by cag second deals with sensitive info deals with sensitive information hence no rti expenditure and results cannot be objectively linked expenditure and results cannot be objectively linked tino ji samajh mein pehli kya kehti hai That you cannot have audit exercises बताइए आपने कौन से एजेंट को कब कितने पैसे दिए कैसे बता दी हीरो फिफ्टी करोड़ एक्सपेंडिचर एंड वट वॉज द रिजल्ट देर वॉज नो कंस्पिरेसी तो ठीक है होता है दैट कैन नॉट बी द रीजन वाई यू स्टॉप योर फंडिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सच इंटेलिजेंस गैदरिंग एक्सरसाइज किस को समझ मारा इज इट क्लियर फाइन ये इराक का पता नहीं पता सो अमेरिका एसेंशली वॉज श्योर दैट इराक इज हैविंग सम न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब और समथिंग बाई विच दे कैन डिस्ट्रॉय द वर्ल्ड एंड देन दे अटैक इराक दे बॉम्बार्ड एट एंड दे फाउंड नथिंग इन इराक in this regard if you so what i'm trying to say is like something like usa jinke paas kya nahi hai they also at times are able to get some bad intel they are not able to so uh, the same can apply to any organization for that matter kis ko nahi samajh aata is it clear then write down welfare schemes yahan pe jan dhan yojana ye national security जनधन योजना एम जी नरेगा मिड डे मील इंद्रधनुष इंद्रधनुष क्या है अच्छा जनधन योजना एम जी नरेगा इंद्रधनुष मिड डे मील फिर सेम थिंग कैन बी सब्जेक्टेड टू ऑडिट can be subjected to audit can be subjected to audit results can be analyzed results can be analyzed
subjected to RTI. Results can be analyzed subjected to RTI. So if you give such kind of an example with respect to a concept, anyways, you're able to make an answer to stand out with respect to any of your competitor. So a lot of time when you look at topers who are, that is who discuss about their strategies, one of the things that they say is, if at all they have a lot of things to say, they essentially are going to use some sort of a flowchart by which they're able to communicate effectively. In this regard, your flowchart should be a tool that you're having. Obviously, so much that a lot of time people are taking this pressure that I need to use in the flowchart for every answer. No. Flowchart should be something by which you're able to communicate what you want to say in a more organized manner. If at all your flowchart is like solar budget, then are you are we presuming that the person who's going to check your copy is going to put that much effort in order to understand what you've written? So first thing, flowchart should be used only when you're trying to say something. Let us, you know that it's going to take a lot of words. You're trying to bring it down to this. And second, it should be something which is very simple to understand. Don't do that. You essentially will have that one copy of a topper who essentially has done something like this. And he's now sending this message across to all the people that, well, this is what works. It doesn't work that way. Look at 10 copies and then you'll see nine of them are keeping it simple and that works. Because I, 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 uh, at the end of the day, it is about effective communication of the points that you're having. So everything that we are doing, be it example, be it dash, is in that light, yes. Are the words inside the diagram? No one is actually sitting there to count your words anyways. You'll not be able to complete your paper if you're not writing within word limits. So there's a very big myth that people are having that they give you negative marks if you have crossed the word limit. Now, I've spoken to at least four to five people who are checking copies of UPSC. Well, there are some words that are written in there. No one is going to do that. The idea is, if at all not you're not adhering to word limit, you will not be able to complete the paper. If you want to take that risk, people do. And then they realize, yeah, it's not working out. So as I say, no one is going to count your words anyways for GS1, 2, 3, 4 and this. But if you're not adhering to a simple rule with respect to word limit, it's going to cost you. That happens. You will not be able to complete your paper. As I say, that at the most, if at all you're writing at your best speed, you will not be able to write more than 3,000 to 3,200 words, right? So when you look at the paper, you 250 marks, guy, right? So if at all you're aiming for one mark is equal to 10 words, that would be a 20 marker, hai, around 200 words, right? So the first thing that you need to know in your paper is how many pages may you are able to complete your 200 words. I strongly recommend students that you should not be writing more than 90 words within a page so that you would know that well, 180 to ho gaya yaha pe. Now that you know ki yaha tak 180 ho gaya, you just need to write half a page and your answer is done. Which can you Why? Right? For the very simple reason, whenever you're aiming for 200 words, they will always be inflation. You'll end up writing 230, 240 words. And automatically, you will be able to come go down. Because those who 20 markers, they expect 250 words. Expect karte. But the very moment you're trying to impress by writing more, they'll get impressed, but you'll not be able to complete the paper. Anyone not to understand this point? Is it clear? So be it for GS, be it for this, keep this very simple rule, one point or rather one mark is equal to 10 words and just follow it automatically you will see that you will end up writing within the word limit. The very moment you are going by year 250 words or 300 words, you will not be able to complete the paper. The second is ki sir, aap bata to reho, but isse selection hota hai. just look at the people who are clearing the exam, talk to them, look at their answer copies, you will see this is what they are doing. You cannot effectively write your answers within 250-300 words and hope to complete the paper as well. Is it clear? Right? Or only at that time, you have to write two papers. You don't know anyone who's a PA to change. See? So, that's why you're going to be at night. So, you essentially will need to practice a lot because you have to write three, three hours, two hours, six hours. So, whenever you're writing notes, whenever you're doing it, try to approach it as if you are also developing the stamina to write a lot. So, it's good to see here. They essentially are typing when I'm discussing things in class. 
they bring their laptops and iPads or there are people who are writing on iPads. That also will not get you the feel, right? We will write on iPad. We will essentially need to get that practice. Now it's a your pen use. Karo, okay? That should also be clear. Ki, bhai, this is the pen that I'm going to use. But clear on it. This is what is the way I'm going to approach it. Right? Wo sari cheez hai. You need to be very, very, that you have to be at the peak of your game when you do it. Yes. Exactly. If the subject matter is wrong, what exactly perhaps should be about completely changes when you compare it with subject matter of this. Now, if at all, I'm making you a law agent. I don't have to teach you with respect to these things. That is RTA, whatever. but if at all I'm making a development officer, me being state, then suddenly I need to teach you all these things that is required for you to be a public administrator. Is it clear? That is what the idea is. Write down, note. Note. Several scholars dispute. Several scholars dispute. This perspective, this perspective as, as instead of providing more clarity, as instead of providing more clarity with respect to meaning of PA. Can you please repeat? Uh, several scholars dispute this perspective. Several scholars dispute this perspective as instead of providing more clarity in regards to meaning of public administration, in regards to meaning of public administration, it is confusing it is confusing the meaning. There can be, there can be expertised domains, expertised domains within public administration within public administration but its core meaning should not be dependent on it its core meaning should not be dependent on it Next view, market view. Market view of meaning of public administration, market view. See, the idea was, if you if we go back to our yesterday's lecture, in the beginning I had said that, well, there was an understanding in the society. We essentially will need to have an entity that can do what? Bring most development for the society, take decisions for the society. And everyone is going to go by what this entity decides. And that is how we created state. State will be that entity which will do it. In this respect, somewhere what happened was the fact that by and large, this understanding that state is going to be the vehicle of development became state is omnipotent. Omnipotent means you have the And state can be the only vehicle to bring development. And this is something which this view challenges. For example, one can argue Pratham is doing an excellent job with respect to implementation of education policies. For example, someone can argue something like ADI is doing a better job or as good a job that judiciary might be doing. In this respect, what is the idea? The idea is that, well, 
it is not necessary that only state can do the functions of development state can do the functions that we want for society to be done it can be done by market it can be done by the people who are non state actors in this respect if at all you are looking for development it can be done by market players if you are looking for welfare it can be done by market players at the end of the day what you are expecting from state is to do what is to bring such regulations by which everything is happening in a very fair and transparent manner that's it and that is why the job of public administrator is not so much with respect to other things but to be a regulator meaning of public administration is what exactly is the way by which an officer a public administrator can be a good regulator usko nahi samajh mere baat ye baat samajh lo are you understand in this aspect what exactly it would mean a simple example lo ki what it takes for us to train an rbi officer for an sebi officer pretty much that is what pavat should be about that how will we are able to ट्रेन यू से रेगुलेटर तुम देख रहे हो कि यहाँ सब कुछ सही हो रहा है फेयर हो रहा नहीं हो रहा कोई चीटिंग नहीं हो रही कोई अनफेयर एडवांटेज नहीं है एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा वट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस व्यू द प्रॉब्लम इज देर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट मार्केट वुड नॉट डू एज सिंपल इज दैट वाई आर वी प्रिज्यूमिंग दैट देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ प्लेयर इन द मार्केट विच इज गोइंग टू बी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू समथिंग लाइक एजुकेशन फॉर चिल्ड्रेन और एजुकेशन फॉर गर्ल चाइल्ड or toilets for girl child if at all there are no institutions which is working this area does it mean state should not work is going to change my very birth the idea is what and this is what we'll understand in evolution that one of the things that we must understand is it was the realization of the society that market cannot perform all functions which led to expansion in the concept of state pehle state se apeksha yahi thi the expectation that we essentially were having from state first that you are supposed to manage law and order you are supposed to bring regulations by which everyone is able to perform their job in a free and fair independent manner it was realized that market can be corrupt it was realized that well if things are being left only to the market there will be people who essentially are going to become very rich there will be people who can be exploited there will be people who can be discriminated we want an entity that fights for the discriminated we want an entity that fights for the backward that Thus, what the backward is required. As such, if at all we are trying to understand pavat, it cannot be limited only to a function as a regulator. It requires developmental activities as well. Which can be changed by. Now, if you see, some people will feel that you are telling something. They will feel that the thing is right. Then you will tell them that the thing is right. As I said, this is what it means to be a student of public administration. that you are supposed to understand both sides of the story you are supposed to understand if this is the meaning what exactly is the counter view to this meaning what is the criticism to this meaning kis ko nahi samajh right down this view of public administration believes this view of public administration believes that that the assumption that the assumption that state is omnipotent that state is omnipotent and only and only state is the legitimate authority and only state is the legitimate authority to provide public goods and public services is an outdated is an out public goods and public services public goods and public services is an outdated idea sahi baat sentence samajh baat hai next sentence collective goals of society collective goals of society must be achieved through collective participation must be achieved through collective participation 
of both state and civil society of both state and civil society bracket non state institutions non state institutions next sentence this view this view envisages this view envisages envisage matlab kalpana karta hai parikalpana karta hai right envisages the role of pa the role of public administration to be that of to be that of a facilitator and a regulator to be that of a facilitator and a regulator and and recommends market market to perform market to perform activities to attain growth and development to attain growth and development write down next sentence okay इन विदेंट ऑफ विद द एडवेंट ऑफ लिबरलाइजेशन एंड ग्लोबलाइजेशन किसको नहीं पता क्या होता है विद द एडवेंट ऑफ लिबरलाइजेशन एंड ग्लोबलाइजेशन market view of pa market view of pa has emerged as market view of pa has emerged as the most dominant view the most dominant view the most dominant view sahi baat fine ठीक है लिबलाइजेशन प्राइवेटाइजेशन ग्लोबलाइजेशन किसको नहीं पता व्हाट इट मींस बता दो नहीं पता था बेसिक्स पता ना व्हाट हैड हैपेंड आफ्टर 1990s वी एसेंशियली स्टार्टेड टू लिबरलाइज बाय ओपनिंग अप सर्टेन सेक्टर्स टू प्राइवेट व्हिच वाज टिल दैट पॉइंट मोनोपोलाइज्ड फॉर एग्जांपल एयरलाइंस टेलीकॉम लिबरलाइजेशन मींस व्हाट दैट वी आर सीइंग दैट यू आल्सो कैन कम एंड पार्टिसिपेट यू कैन आल्सो बी अ प्लेयर बट एग्जैक्टली इज ग्लोबलाइजेशन दैट वी वर having global linkages with the world around the world we were liberalizing our foreign trade policies we were cutting down on our tariffs by which we essentially were trying to link with the global world in this regard what had happened as we'll understand eventually there was sharing of ideas that occurred in a way in which west proposed first kind of forced in the world to follow this idea market view of how exactly public administration should be right write down example contracting out of public services contracting out of public services ppp mode of project implementation ppp public private public partnership ppp mode of project implementation csr activities corporate social responsibility activities etc etc ppp mode of public project implementation 
पीपीपी पता है ना भाई बच्चे नेम एट दी एंड सॉरी अनुभव सेम पिंच फाइन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड शी इज अनुभवी हर नेम इज अनुभवी राइट when i was young my elder sister used to teach me anubhavi anubhavi why because my mother actually mai chota beta apne parivar mein so my mother always wanted a daughter kyunki pehla beta ho gaya tha ab mai mil gaya so for good one year there was a gender crisis that i was afraid of because my mother used to dress me like a girl so now that these photos and everything is there so my elder sister used to call me anubhavi anubhavi she still calls me anubhavi right तो व्हेन जी टोल्ड मी नेम इज अनुभवी तो मुझे आई कॉल्ड माय सिस्टर दैट डे कि आई एक्चुअली मेट अनुभवी टुडे एनीवेज नाइस टू मीट यू अनुभवी यस वी हैव अ डाउट सर व्हाट्स द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ टीएसआर सॉरी व्हाट्स द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ टीएसआर यू सेड टीएसआर कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी सी बेसिकली व्हाट दैट इज इज दैट व्हाट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव अंडरस्टूड that will one thing is that we can take money from the corporates and then we can use it for development expand it can do it for the development of all the people in this respect what can also be done is that well if we are taking the money from them and then we are trying to use it use our executive machinery to do expenditure it may involve a lot of wastage for the reason we essentially will need to give them salaries you need to hire them there will be so many things that is not actually going for development is going to say mother what we can do is we essentially can oblige all corporates with respect to the area in which you are working or something similar to it near to it why don't you use your machinery in order to implement welfare schemes in this regard what we are saying that certain percentage of your profit of last 5 years will need to go not as a tax to us but as a way by which you are using this finance to do some corporate social responsibility for example many of the corporates at the time jab ye jan sorry swachhta abhiyan chal raha tha they started constructing toilets many of these corporates are working with skill india with respect to implementation of skill india skilling people giving them many of them are finding ways by which they are able to link with mg narega workforce to train them so that they are able to develop higher order projects now the beauty of this is that it, with csr we can allow something like bh uh, that is bhel or bsnl or ongc to engage in these activities they will use their own workforce they will use their own technology they will use their own money material and all we need to do is what instead of paying this profit to us as tax why don't you use it in this regard if you think about it state is involving market players in order to get development public entities also does the write down note note several scholars dispute this several scholars dispute this and observes and observes that creation and evolution of a welfare state creation and evolution of a welfare state occurred occurred with the realization in society with the realization in society that market can not be present that market can not be present everywhere and and market is is susceptible <laughs> market is susceptible to corruption
इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द बैकवर्ड एंड सोशल जस्टिस इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द बैकवर्ड एंड सोशल जस्टिस कैन बी एंश्योर्ड कैन बी एंश्योर्ड only with only with active role and participation active role and participation of the state of the state makes sense fine इसके साथ एक और चीज है दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दैट इज व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट डेफिनेशन ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन मोर देन वी एक्चुअली गेट क्लैरिटी वी गेट कंफ्यूज्ड एंड दिस रिजल्ट्स इन क्राइसिस ऑफ आइडेंटिटी फॉर पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इलेबोरेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दिस बट वील स्टडी इट आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नेचर ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड स्कोप ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फॉर द वेरी सिंपल रीजन दैट विल गिव यू मोर पॉइंट्स टू डील विद दिस टॉपिक ऑल ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इज कनेक्टेड विद दिस But you will not get the complete understanding if you are able to understand these two topics: nature of public administration and scope of public administration. Is it clear? But till this point, a question that has been asked multiple times in UPSC can be answered. That is, with respect to meaning of public administration, there is a lack of consensus. Discuss. ये तो है और क्या है? ये तो नहीं ये नहीं नहीं ये है नहीं नहीं ये है The idea is what we have a lack of consensus with respect to the meaning of public administration. Is it clear? Fine. Right? Basically, ये बताना है. हमको ये बताना है that with respect to meaning of public administration, we essentially see that Prabhat is the study of executive, but what must be studied in Prabhat as a field of academics, there is a lack of unanimity. And then start with either you can write in subheadings that is fine, or you can write in paragraphs that also is fine. Start with on one hand you have a narrow view that uh, says that it should be limited to this. On the other hand, broad view is coming towards this. उसमें लिख दो bracket में thinkers who propounded it. एक एक sentence you need to complete it. Are you able to understand? Then political view बता दो. Then ये subject matter view बता दो. ये within that is small paragraph you are able to sort of cover every point. Or the question can be. That post globalization market view has evolved to be the most dominant view with respect to meaning of Prabhat, but then it also comes with certain points of reservation by some scholars. Elaborate. So you start with market view, explain what it is, or you essentially, and then you are going to talk about the reservation as I said about. Or it can be that you essentially are having the same respect to another and broad view. That perspective of public administration as a subject. Can either be a narrow or it can be a broad. We are to case of one. What exactly I'm saying that there can be different ways in which this content can be used based on demand of the question, demand of the question, and word limit in which you need to write. Now, answer writing practice है क्या? If at all, I think हमने करीब हजार वर्ड्स तो लिख लिए होंगे. In this respect, if at all the question is with respect to two hundred words and you're supposed to write everything that you have studied, answer writing is how exactly you're able to bring it down to two hundred words. जैसे नहीं करते ए आई मेन सेंचुरी ब्रिंग डाउन दिस टू थ्री हंड्रेड टू फिफ्टी वर्ड्स दे डू अ वेरी पोर जॉब एट टाइम्स वो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें उड़ा देता है कुछ ऊट पटांग डाल देता है कुछ से एनी स्टार्ट अ पार्ट बट दिस इज वॉट इट इज इज इट क्लियर राइट ठीक है लेट मीट टूमोरो एंड टूमोरो सर्टनली वी आर टू मीट एट वन टूडे मीटिंग विद सी यू दैट इज वाई इट टूक सम टाइम राइट अदरवाइज आई वुड हैव कम अलियर Certainly, we are going to start with one, and from tomorrow onwards, we are going to sort of increase the hours. So, we will increase the hours. Is it fine? Fine. All the best, everyone. Take care. Thank you. And please yeah. switch on your cameras. Yes, Deeksha, you have a doubt. Pucho, pucho. Uh, sir, in the welfare perspective, we had written a point like, uh, note this perspective is considered as very limiting view hmm. of understanding PA. Hmm. So, uh, my question was, uh, can we have a different opinion about it? Like welfare being a subjective matter, uh, for me, what is welfare may not be the same to you. So, hmm. can we tell that PA uh, with the welfare perspective has broader and ever evolving uh, view? 
See, I mean, you're not trying to broaden the meaning of Bhavad. You're trying to find broad meaning of what is welfare. So what I'm, the definition of well, uh, this meaning of public administration is that we are supposed to focus on welfare. And welfare is what public administration's meaning is about. Now, what is welfare is a different question altogether. Whatever might be your or my view with respect to what is welfare, we have kept it in that box called welfare. Now, what is welfare, as you said, can be different. For example, in India, it can be that you require something like anti-dowry laws by which you're able to bring welfare for protection of women. But anti-dowry law will sound very funny if you go to Russia, if you go to USA. Why? Because definition of welfare has changed. We essentially will need to have car anti-caste discrimination laws or then touchability being abolished. But then caste in itself is not a problem in the West. So what and what is and what is in welfare can change from society to society. But that's a different question. The first is what is Pabat? And that is what welfare orientation is trying to say. But well, study of Pabat should only be study of welfare. Is it clear? I hope you don't understand that. Thanks. Yes, sir. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Then we'll study.